Okay, so I was trying to figure out how to make the robot head off of LMFAO's um, deal, and I can't think of what his name is. I'll have it in the title of above. But anyways, I just went out and I bought some stuff. It's like a few hours till the Hall Halloween costume party, and uh, just to give you guys some ideas on what I did here. Um, I'm still kind of in the process of doing it, but I'll show you the supplies I got. Just as you kind of see, what I did was I went to Walmart and bought a couple reflectors, and um, I noticed that the light eyes light up with his little box head or whatever you call it. So I went out and I got some cheap $2 flashlights, as you can see, LED, pretty bright. And uh, with these reflectors came some of these uh, stick-ons. And they actually, what's going to happen is, as you can see, I put it around the flashlight here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little clear plastic cup as a holder. So this light will go in there like that. Well, actually, it'll go in like that. And this will act as a centering piece for that light so the light stays in the center of the eye all the time. But I cut a hole in the bottom, uh, not very well as you can tell, but cut a hole in the bottom and the back end of the flashlight will stick out right there so I can turn it on and off without having to access all this. Now the idea here is I'm going to put it together and I'm just showing you the eyes real quick but the idea here put it in like that and then that reflector will cover over so let me turn it on real quick so what it'll look like is it'll be like that so um, but centered and you'll have a uh, a glowing eye real easy real simple now what I'm going to show you is I went out and bought a box and as you can see went out bought a box cut some holes into it uh, the eyes right there the mouth and it's real simple I'll show you how the eyes are going to work here and uh, see if I can I'm going to have to put them in okay now what I'm doing is as you can see have that uh, little sticker thing that came with the reflective color cover on there and uh, it's in there and what it's doing is it's holding that flashlight and uh, now I've got a an eye so in that flashlight you just pop it on and back like there you go you got a you got an eyeball now <clears throat> what's going to do is going to sit down in here like this and uh, there you go and of course what we're going to do is we're going to super glue around here so as you can see we're going to super glue or not super glue I'm sorry uh, glue use a glue gun there we go <clears throat> anyways as you can tell I don't do this on a daily basis but there you go you got your eye right there and see how that's centered that helps to center that up in that cup so do the same for that and then <clears throat> what I did was I bought um, uh, it's like seven bucks for a lot of this maybe come in handy for something else but of course you want to be able to see through stuff you want to be able to see out of this box so what I did was I bought uh, some charcoal aluminum screening but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover that mouthpiece right there with this so I can see out <clears throat> then I'm gonna tape it up of course you know tape a box if you don't know how to do that I'm not gonna show you but here's the other thing is you gotta have some some gold paint so I bought some uh, Rust-Oleum Universal metallic pure gold uh, spray uh, spray can here <clears throat> and uh, this this shit's expensive it's like eight bucks a bottle so it's one of my uh, more major expenses with this the box was about 65 cents the light was two dollars the covers were about two bucks the uh, cups were free I actually got them from Subway uh, they're the ones that they give you for water but as you can see with that light in there it kind of gives that glow around the eye so it kind of the clear ones are cooler than the the red solo cups because you get the glow around the eye oh and here's the other thing I'll show you in result <clears throat> but went out now well actually this was the most expensive buy right here was these are actually a couple speakers went out and bought at Best Buy and they're Sony's and they have the quarter inch jack and they run off of batteries so what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to put my phone in the head of this thing and actually play music out of the ears because the ears are going to be over here on the side 
what I did was I went and stole this off a Walmart shelf, you know, and uh, what it, it's by all the drinks and the bottled waters and stuff like that, but it's just your typical cardboard deal here, and I drew where my head's going to go through right there, and this is actually going to go on top of my head and hold my head. Now I'm going to super glue around all these edges inside the box. What I did was I came in here, figured out, okay, how much, oh geez, where my, my chin would go, as you can see the marks, where my eyes would go, and where the lights would go, and also I figured out, okay, and this might be hard to see, but you see that mark right above the lip, kind of looks like a mustache, that's where this box is going to go inside. Let me show you how that's going to work. I'm going to hot glue that in, and it doesn't quite match, but that'll be okay. We'll figure something out with it. And it's going to hold my head in, and it's right even with the, it'll hold the lights up, it'll hold the speakers up also. So that'll help in the support of holding the speakers up in the head. Okay, so this is not my proudest moment here, but I did utilize duct tape for the mouth. And as you can see, when you stick your head in, you can now see out through the window screen. And uh, so you can use that to see. It's going to be very limited, so don't try to drive in this thing. Uh, but that is the mouth right there. And uh, still working on getting it all together here. But um, that's what it looks like from the front. So it hides your eyes in the dark so people can't see you. Okay, now you can see I went ahead and put the eyes and I got it laying down here but uh, so that I can turn these lights on here these little flashlights so you're gonna have your eyes. Now what I gotta do is I gotta super or super glue I gotta hot glue these in to make sure they're going to uh, stay and uh, then once we get them hot glued in uh, what I'll do is I'll put the uh, the headpiece in just that piece of cardboard and what I'm doing is I'm actually wearing a beanie so it doesn't cut into my head while I'm walking around all night but uh, I cut it out give me one second and uh, so anyway yeah not your typical you know hat or anything but just put it on like this and what it'll do is it'll be glued up here and uh, probably duct tape too because you know they can't see the inside so uh, but anyways Nothing spectacular, just what I can come up with within a few hours. So that's that. Now we'll get this all lined up and we'll get the uh, the actual speakers here that I bought to put in as the ears. So I'll show you that here in a minute. Okay, so what I did here was I ended up hot gluing the uh, cups in from the back side so you don't see it from the front. Then what I'm going to do is I cut that hole a little too big, so I'm just using duct tape to reinforce it to make sure those eyes don't fall out. Also, would be a good idea um, to spray paint the whole box first, cut all the holes first, spray paint it, let it dry, and then do this because I still have to spray paint it. And uh, obviously, I'm going to have to cover up them lenses so I don't get them all covered in spray paint. So, uh, just a heads up on that. Uh, getting a little ahead of myself I still have to cut the ear holes also for the speakers moving along okay so what I did here was um, I've got your headpiece here you've got and what I did was I actually stuck speakers outside now what my plan is is to be able to run this cable here down through here this little gap or wherever I got a gap here right there and then I can plug my phone with the songs or music, a playlist of music. Uh, my phone's ringing, but uh, and then I can plug it in. And actually, you flip these bad boys on. There you go. <laughs> and you got yourself some live music from your head. Okay, so here's the finished product. I got the eyes that glow. You know, and I watch a video, and I, uh... And I noticed that, uh, he didn't have speakers for ears, but you know what? It's modified, so, but as you can see, went ahead and just put, uh, 
duct tape down there. There's my phone plugged into it. Play a little Skrillex. But there's the other side. So I'm gonna be walking down the street, playing some jams right there. But also I was thinking you might want to put a, a strap, like a chin strap in this thing. I don't know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But yeah, that's finished product right there. I'm letting her dry. But I think it'll be fun. Alright, see you later. Okay, so this is the finished product. As you can see. I can't see what I'm doing, but anyways, the lights will be on. All that good stuff. 